What's up, YouTube? Star 44 coming in with another video. Five things we got to do to make Black Lives Matter. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button in the corner of your screen. Hit that notification bell as well. You get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right into this video. Five things we got to do to make Black Lives Matter. You know, at the end of the day, the Black Lives Matter movement has came heavy in 2020. And 2020 has been a hard year for everyone with the COVID-19, the, um, the George Floyd thing, the Breonna Taylor, all the um, lives that have been lost by police brutality. But we want to make sure in our community that we hold holding up our own end and we're doing the things we have to do to allow our black lives to matter. And I came up with five reasons why what we have to start doing to allow our black lives to matter to all the other races in the world and the other races in the world they support us and they be out there marching and out there doing things with us doing this do, doing this hard year 2020 and i commend them for being there for us but if we're going to keep saying black lives matter these five things what we need to do in the black community number one we got to stop competing with one another and start growing together. As a black community, we sometimes we worry about who has this, who has that, who has the Jordans, who has this, and we don't look at, you know what, if we just put all our, you know, all our ducks together, we can grow as as a, as a community. I think sometimes back in the day when we in the slavery days when we had the field workers and we had the house workers, we had the guys that was in the field that was jealous of the house workers. And that's why we got that mentality to today is we have to compare everything because unfortunately the man put us in, in competition with each other about who gets in the house and who works in the field, who picked this amount of cotton, who does this and who does that. And we still have that mentality to today that's stuck in our DNA and stuck in our soul. And eventually we need to understand that if I get a house, he can get a house. Don't worry about if his house bigger than mine. Just worry about you got something of your own. Be happy for somebody else's blessings because if you're not, you're blocking your own. And it's a lot in the black community that we block our own blessings by competing with one another. We just need to grow together and grow as a unit. So that's my number one. Number two, stop killing each other. You know, and that goes along with the jealousy and the comparisons. We get jealous of each other and we feel like this is our turf, that's our turf, or, you know, or or we just get jealous. We have the jealous sense of we feel like we, we we're entitled to something and, or you don't want to be punked as a man or nobody use their hands these days. If you got a problem with somebody back in the day when I was growing up, you balled up your fist, you went outside, you either, either you got an ass whooping or you gave an ass whooping. But after you took an ass whooping, either you come back for another ass whooping or you just don't come back at all. But nowadays, somebody get their ass whooped, somebody going to come back with a gun and shoot and kill each other. And it shouldn't be like that. At the end of the day, you know, I may be, you know, your brother from a different mother, and we need to treat it like that. If you, It's cool to agree and disagree, but walk away from it. It doesn't make you less of a man to sit there and prove something to somebody and end up in a jail cell. Because half of our black men are in the jail because they did a crime on black on black crime. And you allow the other races to use that statistic against us to make it make our life to the point that they don't see us as mattering because we're we're um, we're we're versing our own self. We're going against our own kind. So make sure as a man we understand to, to agree to disagree and walk away from it. Number three, we need uh, a heavy dose of mental health in our community. You know, unfortunately. You know, the drugs are brought in our community for a reason. The tobacco, all these things are brought in our um, community. And I call out, like, sports stars and sports athletes to take the money that you're making or entertainers, take the money that you're making and provide mental health, in, mental health schools or mental health facilities in the black community to help us to understand that the things that we, we put on a pedestal like Jordans and fashion and images that 
that's that's nothing but toxic stuff that's going to hurt us in the long run. You know, it's nothing wrong with having nice things, but I do challenge, you know, people that um, are in a higher stature that is uh, have a black face to start schools to help the mental health as a man for women and men. Because the black community, we sweep things under the rug. We sweep molestation under the rug. We were, uh, we um, we sweep under um, uh, single fatherhood or single motherhood. We sweep under the the broken family thing under the rug, and we want welfare, child support, and drugs money to take care of us and and groom us. And we all we doing is having a cycle of of um, a dysfunction keep growing in our community that's starting to lose. So we need mental health in our community. That's my number three. Number four, physical health. Now, with the pandemic of COVID-19, a lot of people are not surviving in the black community because of they had bad physical health that they didn't know about. And then when they caught the virus, it's actually attacking them and hurting them in the long run. So at the end of the day, I mean, you, you, nobody can get away from the COVID-19. If it attacks you and it kills you, then that's what's going to happen. But it'll be better if we work on our physical health. We eat a lot of fried foods. Um, there's nothing wrong with eating fried foods, but we need to know what our cholesterol is like. We need to go check for our screening for prostate cancer as men, colon cancer, take care of, you know, who we are. So if you want your life to matter, you got to matter to your own self before you matter to anybody else. So that's my number four. Make sure we take care of our physical, our mental health, we're definitely physical health. That's what it is because mental health is number three. All right, last but not least, we need to train to be a mother and a father so we can keep our families together. You know, hashtag challenge, uh, cucumber challenge, hashtag all these dumbass challenges. Let's challenge each other to be a, 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 um, a, a great father, a great mother. Um, just like Kobe said before he passed away, girl dead. That means being a dad, being there for your daughters, being there for your father, being there for your mothers and stuff like that. So make sure we hashtag things that is going to matter one day. Matter is being a father in a home for your children. Matter is being a mother in a home for your children. We hashtag things that don't matter that make us look, make us look bad in our own community. And we need to hashtag that and grow off that. So that was my five uh, reasons why I think, or five things we can do to make sure our Black Lives Matter. If you want to add something in the comment section, add it. Um, this is a very emotional video for me just to do because it's the truth. You know, it's the truth that we need to look in our in the mirror and fix and understand that our Black Lives Matter, but we got to matter to ourselves before it matter to anybody else, and we must put you know, all these things into perspective. So to go over the list one more time is stop competing each, with each other, being jealous of one another, stop killing each other. Uh, we need a heavy dose of mental health in our community awareness, uh, physical health awareness, and we need to start training the mother, the father, the the um, girl, dad, the mother, uh, the mother, sons, all that. We need to train that to make sure we focus on that and we want to be that to help our community. Back in the day when I was growing up, I had my mother and father in the house. But when you go out in the neighborhood and you did something wrong, you had to deal with the neighbors knowing they knew your mother and father. We need to get back to that type of community again. But I want you guys to stack attack your life. Let's stack up our lives. Let's make sure your black life matter. And I'll holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.